Hi, I'm going to talk about the non-page pool today, uh, as well as uh, the Poolmon utility from Microsoft, which allows you to uh, review information about the non-page pool. I'm going to give you some background uh, as to why the non-page pool is relevant and how I came about uh, investigating the, the Poolmon utility. Uh, as you may know, we developed the event Century monitoring uh, a suite and one of the things that we added in the uh, 2.93 release is the ability to detect leaks in a performance counter. So I have a test machine here and one of the things uh, that Event Century generated on that test machine uh, was this uh, event that I'm going to pull up here. The event here says uh, that the uh, potential leak for the performance counter pool non-paged bytes here has been detected. Uh, in this particular case, actually, uh, the leak has been resolved. So um, I'm going to bring up the one that actually uh, gives us the alert. So it says here that the uh, potential leak was has been detected in the uh, pool non-page bytes. Okay, memory pool non-page bytes over the last uh, 36 hours. And if you uh, get this alert by email, you have a nice little chart attached to it, which I'm not going to bring up right now uh, but needless to say um, there is some uh, in the chart you can see that the uh, non-paged pool uh, bytes uh, continuously increase I can bring this up here uh, just to give you a little more illustration here on that issue so we're gonna pick this computer here it's gonna pick non-paged bytes I'm gonna say last week I'm gonna take a look at this data here so it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um, so you can see here um, that the amount of memory in the non-page pool here just keeps increasing and uh, the feature that we have in place uh, detected uh, that behavior. So that's uh, all useful information. Um, certainly you can see that this is a potential problem, um, but what, it, what the event doesn't tell you, and unfortunately um, it'd be pretty difficult uh, to uh, do this on an automated basis, but uh, what we of course would like to find out at this point is uh, what it is, which process, which component in Windows or which application is causing this uh, this leak, uh, this potential leak or this increased uh, memory usage in the non-paged pool. Or better yet, uh, is this a serious problem or is this something that we just don't really have to worry about? Um, just for the record here, uh, Event Sentry does uh, detect leaks with a variety of counters, not just a non-page pool. Uh, it would apply to any performance counters such as um, handle counts, uh, memory, uh, general memory usage, and so forth. Uh, so this is, this is not a feature that's uh, specifically geared, uh, in this case, to the non-page pool. Um, Mark Rosinovich uh, wrote an interesting uh, blog article that explains uh, memory in general uh, in this particular uh, article talks about the page and the non-paged pool. Um, so Microsoft uh, gives us a utility uh, that allows us to see a little bit more about what's going on in the non-paged uh, pool. It's called poolmon.exe. Poolmon.exe uh, on 2003 is included in the, uh, in the first or uh, second disk uh, as part of the support tools. So if you install the support tools on your 2003 machine uh, then you will uh, get this folder here, Support Tools, which has a variety of utilities, uh, one of which is Poolmon.exe. So let's fire Poolmon.exe up. So we know at this point there's a problem on this machine, the non page pool keeps increasing. Um, before I bring up the tool, let's just outline here real quickly why uh, that increase may be a problem. The non page pool uh, is memory that cannot be paged to the page file the non-paged pool is always uh, in physical memory, it's never paged meaning that uh, if you run out of uh, physical memory your server is going to have, a, your machine is going to have a problem and potentially give you a blue screen or crash or freeze um, so we definitely don't want to push that limit, we want to make sure that uh, we don't run out of the non-paged pool uh, depending on the operating system and whether and the platform, whether it's a 32 or 64-bit, there's different limits on the maximum size of the non-page pool. Now, obviously, the maximum size is always going to be the remaining physical memory, but it's important to point out here that on uh, 2003 machines, 
um, particularly 32-bit uh, 2003 machines, uh, the non-page pool is actually uh, limited to a maximum of 256 megabytes. And uh, in some cases, when the 3GB switch is used, um, it's actually restricted to 128 megabytes. So again, it's not so much a problem uh, on 2008 machines if you have enough physical memory available. Uh, but keep in mind that you may have a server, a 2003 server that has 4 gigs of memory. Uh, but if you use that 3GB switch, um, yeah, the amount, the maximum size of the non-page pool is going to be 128 megabytes. And that's something that you could potentially exhaust uh, if there is a leak in the non-page pool. So let's take a look at poolmon.dxe. So just firing up it gives us a list of uh, components and uh, what they what it refers to as tags uh, in alphabetical order. So we're going to change that and we're going to sort it um, by the the bytes. Meaning we're going to see which uh, component driver etc. uses the most memory in the non-paged pool. Another thing to note here is Poolmon will show us both the non-paged as well as the paged pool. So we're not too concerned about the page pool right now, uh, but just so you know, uh, it does show both. So if we just hit the, the B key on the keyboard, B less than Bravo, then what Poolmon will do is we'll sort the output by the number of bytes. So let's look at the Let's look at the uh, the header column here. This is where we can see uh, what we have going on. So the the first column is the tag. So this is what actually shows us what it is that is using the memory. Um, and th these are just um, these are just uh, code words, I suppose. Um, uh, they're called again. They're they're referred to as as tags, and we'll have to look those up in a text file in order to uh, figure out what that actually is. Um, it has to be have a minimum of three uh, characters and a maximum of four characters. Um, then the uh, next column is a type, uh, page and non-page, we're interested in the non-paged. Non uh, Allox is the number of allocations, how many times has, uh, has this item uh, allocated memory, freeze is the how many times has it freed memory, and then an important column uh, actually, the diff column. This shows us uh, the number, the difference between the allocations and the freeze. So that's definitely something uh, that we want to take a closer look at. So let's take a look here at the the first non-page pool entry. Here is something that that's relevant to us, and then here, of course, the diff. So diff is pretty high compared to the other ones, meaning that that uh, component allocated that subsystem allocated memory more often than it freed memory. So that's a little suspicious already. Uh, next column we have the total number of bytes in the non-page pool, so this is 7 megabytes. Um, not uh, extremely high, so um, you know, on a system that has uh, enough memory available, you know, assuming that the size of the non-page pool would be 128 megabytes, it'd still be a lot left. Um, we'd still have to look at, of course, all the other ones, but uh, nothing to be immediately concerned about. And then finally at the end here we have the number of bytes on uh, on average. Um, I believe that number would have to be an average of how uh, how much memory is alloc uh, allocated per every time the allocation occurs. So if you go through the list here, um, there's uh, definitely this line here, this line sticks out here. Um, so we, we have a pretty large number for the diffs, meaning that process has allocated, and I'm saying process here, but it's not really a process, uh, that driver subsystem has allocated memory 12,000 times more than it has freed memory. It's using a fairly large number, uh, particularly you know, compared with some of the other numbers we see here. Uh, so it's something to look into. Um, so what we need to uh, do next. So we know that there's a potential issue here, and this may be our culprit. So uh, we have a tag here called uh, THRE, and that's, uh, let's take a look to see what that is. So 
So we can probably... I cheated a little bit, I copied this file remotely to this to this test server here. So in order to make this a little bit easier. So again what we were looking at is THRE and we can already see, maybe have an idea of what, what this may be. Um, since all the uh, identifiers are on the left side with a hyphen, I'm just going to change uh, change my search word here and go straight to where we need to be. So, uh, thread objects. So we, so the thread objects, so this is part of Windows, okay. So the thread objects are using a fair amount of the non-page pool. Um, they've been allocating uh, constantly uh, and that's what we're looking at here. Let's go back to the non-page pool and uh, what is what is actually good for. So what's actually stored in the non-page pool? Uh, anything that can't be paged out. So we're so Windows stores uh, things like event handles, uh, file descriptors, I/O objects, um, as well as thread handles. Uh, in the non-page pool, and that's what this is. So, uh, some process is allocating a lot of threads, and every time we create a thread, we get a handle back. If we don't close that handle, um, that thread handle, that thread object, will remain active in the kernel, and will be stored in the non-page pool. So, and, and that's an interesting thing uh, to point out here. Uh, just because uh, it's uh, the kernel. Uh, that actually allocates memory from the non-page pool doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a user process that can cause the problem. So the kernel will allocate this on behalf of a user mode application, of a, you know, of, an, of a process that runs in user mode. So any any exe on Windows you can run uh, that starts a thread could uh, theoretically cause um, a leak in the non-page pool or eventually exhaust the non-page pool. Uh, so uh, one of that, which is one of the reasons why we like to monitor. Uh, things like that. So now we know that this is uh, potentially a process. Let's take a look of uh, let's take a look take a look at Task Manager. Uh, Task Manager doesn't give us insight into the pool uh, like the uh, Poolmon does, and we're gonna exit out of here with the Q button. Um, but instead, it will give us all the processes and their utilization. So let's open this up here. And I've already uh, included the non-paged pool and the handles column here. Uh, if you don't see those, those are not activated by default in Task Manager. You need to add those uh, via the View, Select Columns uh, dialog where you have the uh, non-paged pool and handle count selected here. And of course, there's other interesting uh, columns too. I'm going to add the thread count here just to illustrate uh, something else. So let's first sort by the non-paged pool, and what we'll see here is that this process here, Event Century HPSVC, is using uh, a good amount of the non-paged pool, uh, a lot of handles, uh, but very few threads. Uh, so just six. This is a development version uh, of one of our software components um, that has a a leak, and. Um, this leak has, of course, been resolved, but I, I left this faulty version on the system um, purposely just to illustrate and, and make this demo here. Um, so this leak was discovered in some internal testing before the before the release, and and shows it shows us uh, the problem with the non page pool quite nicely. Um, what we can see here is that 11,000 handles, which seems uh, a bit high, so if we sort by the handles, we'll see that's significantly higher than any of the other processes on the system. Uh, yet there's only uh, six, about six threads active. Um, so, what is it actually? So, what is it leaking? So, since we know that the objects in the non-page pool that we uh, that we looked at with Poolman is related to threads. We know that this process is leaking thread handles. Um, another way to find out uh, what uh, what the issue is, which type of handles are being leaked, would be to use uh, the sysinternals tool called handle.exe. Handle.exe allows you to see uh, which type of handles this uh, process has open at the moment. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty nifty tool, uh, and really excellent uh, for troubleshooting. So we're just going to download this real quick, and I'll illustrate uh, how to how to use this utility. So 
So I'm just gonna extract this here to the software folder. So, so handle by default shows us a lot of handles, a lot of information about handles on the system. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, what we do want, however, is we want a summary, which is the S switch of a process, and the process in question in here is a heartbeat service. And let's take a look here. So what we'll see here immediately, uh, as I mentioned before, is that uh, the high handle count here is coming from thread handles. So I hope this uh, gave you a good overview of how to use pool and what it's useful for. Again, to summarize, uh, it's uh, not extremely likely uh, to run into uh, an immediate problem with a leak in the non-page pool. And again, it depends on the operating system, the platform that you're running, as well as the available memory you have on that system. It's still something that you don't want to ignore. It's something you want to keep an eye on and at least be familiar and at least be in a situation where you can decide for yourself whether this is a problem or not, um, and at least identify the offending a component or process so you can uh, contact the manufacturer, the developer, and potentially get a fix. Um, it's much better to know that you have this uh, problem and that you know that you can ignore it um, uh, uh, compared with uh, being, you know, uh, getting a page in, you know, three in the morning or coming in one morning and uh, only to know that one of your servers is just stuck hanging or, 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 is re or has rebooted. So that's the purpose. Uh, of uh, monitoring uh, counters uh, like this and being alerted uh, before it's uh, before it's a problem. Most of the times, these things are very hard to detect, uh, so it's important that you monitor these counters. I will publish some of the links here uh, for some of the uh, uh, some of the tools. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, the document uh, that I opened up before. Um, pool tag txt that's unfortunately not included with uh, the debugging the support tools of Windows 2003 uh, that's part of the Windows driver development kit as well as the debugging tools for Windows uh, they're uh, located in a folder uh, called triage um, on on that system so actually uh, I have it turns out I have the debugging tools installed on this computer so if you go in here uh, there's a triage folder uh, and here is a file that has all the tags uh, from Windows. If the tag that you're looking at is not included in this document, then it uh, pretty much implies that the tag is, comes from a third-party driver. If that is the case, uh, then you uh, need to look at the installed drivers and figure out which driver is causing this problem. Um, this system, you could go to Windows uh, Drivers Windows uh, System 32 and drivers and pretty much try to see if you can find a match between the list uh, of drivers that you have uh, sitting in that directory. Um, alternatively, you can also um, use the find SDR utility of the sys internals uh, suite again. You use the strings um, utility here that you can basically um, pass um, to all the drivers here and figure out which one it is. So you would pretty much uh, run it exactly as it is shown here. You would uh, navigate to the drivers directory uh, and type in strings, find string, and, and uh, instead of text to search for, you would specify the name of the tag that you saw in Poolmon. And hopefully uh, you would then get a result back. Uh, you would hope that's not too many false positives. Um, and list you the driver file uh, that, that is using this this tag. And then you should be, uh, be able to identify which driver is causing this if it's not a user mode process like I outlined before. Uh, if it's a user mode process, it's pretty easy. Uh, task Manager will usually be able to uh, reveal it if it's a memory leak, a handle leak, and so forth, thread handle leak, and so forth. So thanks for watching.